Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give you another quick update on some progress that I've made on the Wave project. So if you have a software as a service, odds are you're probably going to want to write some posts and pages relevant to what your service is about. This way you can gain some organic traffic and hopefully convert users into paying customers. So this last week I was working on adding a blog component to Wave. So this way it allows you to easily add posts and pages to your software as a service. Okay, in the previous video, I showed you the dashboard and this is the Wave dashboard once a user logs into your application and all of this is fully customizable. So then we have our navigation up here and I can show you the blog component right here. So you can change how you want this to look and also where you want this to be. So right now it's at slash blog. You could change that to slash articles or slash how to, whatever you find more relevant. And then here we have categories. So I can click on category one and category two. And we can also add, edit, or delete any categories inside of the admin. So let's go ahead and click on a post. So then if we go to the post, we can then scroll down and read all about the post. And like I said in the intro, you'll probably want to write something that's relevant to your service. So if your target audience is, say, developers, and specifically PHP developers, you'll probably want to write some posts about PHP and giving them some tutorials and showing them how to do stuff. And then hopefully after they've come to your website multiple times, they may then buy your service and become a customer. So let's go ahead and check out this blog component in the admin. So now if I go to the admin, and if you are familiar with Voyager, this is all going to look very familiar. We can then go over here to the left and we can click on posts. And this is where we can add, edit, or delete posts. So then I can go here and click on edit. And then you can see we can edit the title, the content, and all of the details. We can then change the category, update the image and add all the SEO content. So then we could also go over here to categories and we can add, edit, or delete categories so you can categorize your posts. And lastly, we have pages. So under here, I just have a simple about page and a hello world. We click on edit. It's nothing too fancy. It just has the title, the body content of the page, and you can visit any page by going to your application slash P slash about or slash whichever the slug name is for the page that you just created. And you could also change this. It could just be slash page instead of slash P. All of this is fully customizable. So now you can see that you can have a blog component inside of your software as a service. So it is very common for software as a service to have blogs where they maybe give their customers updates about their product and also write tutorials and other things to intrigue customers to come to their site and then hopefully convert them into a customer. So this is just one more component of the Wave application that will make building your software as a service even easier than ever before. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will talk to you either next week or the week after and give you some more updates on the Wave project.